For this interactive demo, you will need to download the demo reference values and demo training set available on the F750 product page under training materials. You will also need the model builder software downloaded onto your PC. This can be found on our software page. We'll start by opening the model builder software. This is the opening screen of the model builder software. The file icon has options for creating a new model, opening an existing model, saving a model, and exiting the software, as well as exporting data. The view icon under setup allows for options for viewing wavelength notation and changing the spectral range visible in the software. The advanced option details software updates. The build button will build the model once spectra and reference values are imported into the software. To start using the software, we will need to import a training set collected on the F750 previously with your sample specimen. We will do this by using the import button down in the lower right hand corner of the software. Alternatively, we could simply copy and paste the spectra data into the appropriate rows and columns below. However, utilizing the import option is recommended as this will prevent user error and misaligning data. Please note that selecting file open will not import a training set. This will only open an existing model backup in the software. Clicking import will open up a file explorer menu in which you can navigate to the desired training set file. Training set files will have the .f750ts file extension. Select your training set and click open. The software will pull up a prompt inquiring if you would like to overwrite the existing training set. In this situation, we would select yes, as I want to delete all data already in Model Builder and import only the data I have selected. Once imported, the spectra appears in the upper window of the software and the values at each pixel down below. In the upper pane, you can click and drag to pan your view and use the scroll on your mouse to zoom in and out on the spectra. The lower pane is adjustable in height. Click and drag the pane upwards to expand this view. In the data panel down below, Specimen number identifies each sample that was used to build the training set. Spectra name, in this case, is populated simply with the temperature groupings of each scan. This will be the case if you import any training set into Model Builder. You also have the option to import .f750 dat scans collected with the measure button on the F750. The auto-populated spectra name in this situation is preset on the F750 device during measurement. In this particular example, we can see that each specimen was scanned at a minimum and mid temperature range. There are options in the software for more easily viewing which spectral data correlates to which specimen. One of the ways to do this is by clicking the blank cell in the upper left hand corner. This will highlight all of the specimen spectra. Click anywhere else in the lower pane to exit this view. If you find that you have a particular data point that has a known error, for example, you can see here that this spectral data point is quite different from all of the other spectral scans obtained. You can identify this particular data point by holding the control button and then clicking on the spectra in question. If you want to exclude this specimen, you can simply check the box next to the specimen number. You can see that I can identify this scan down below and hit exclude, and it is no longer in my spectral data set. At this point, we've imported the spectra from the training set. The next step is to import the corresponding reference values. Again, there are a couple methods of doing this. If your reference values are saved as a .csv file, you can use the import button, similar to the import button used to import the spectra. If they're not saved as a CSV file, you can open the spreadsheet program where they are saved and copy and paste the values without headers included. 
Again, you will be asked if you want to overwrite the existing training set. Select yes again in this case. You can see that your specimen number are auto-populated to match the number of reference values. Double click on the column headers to rename them. It is vitally important to ensure that your number of specimen in the training set match the number of specimen in your reference values tab. The software uses a mini to one mapping of spectra to reference values. So you can see I have nine reference values and I should have nine specimen in my training set. Although each specimen in this case has mini or min and mid temperature scans, there should only be a single corresponding reference value. It would be incorrect in this situation to have specimen number one twice with two reference values. The model spectra tab allows you to select the desired region where you want the software to search for a correlation between your spectra and reference values. In this case, the range is 729 to 975 nanometers. This is also the acceptable region for total soluble solids and dry matter. Once your spectra and reference values are imported and you've selected your desired wavelength range, you are ready to build your model. Click on the Build button. You'll see a progress bar display while the software is working. For models with high specimen numbers, this may take some time. Once your model is built, the Model Performance Analysis tab will become available. Here you can find helpful graphs for analysis of the regression. Analysis of these graphs will be covered in an alternative tutorial. To save your model, select File, Save As, and name your model. Ensure that your save as type corresponds to the firmware version of your F750 hardware. This concludes the F750 Model Builder software tutorial.